Hey guys, Don here. Um, I want to do the Podiatry Practice Mastery newsletter for April uh, 2021. Uh, in this last month, I'm going to go through what were the interviews in the month of March. Um, all these interviews can be found on uh, the present website, podiatry.com. That's where they're being published. You may have seen them. Uh, the first interview with was with Kevin Christie. He is a, a chiropractor. He's part of this strategic coach group as well that I go to. Not the same group, but he, he's been going there for a while. And he helps other uh, chiropractors, which is very similar. But he's got a, a couple of really good books um, to help kind of guide your social media. And he gives you real great practical ideas on um, being more profitable in your practice, um, delegation, and other types of things like that. So that would be a good listen, that Kevin Christie interview. Uh, the other interview was with Andrew Vieira. He's actually uh, just starting medical school, but prior he was a medical scribe. And this is something that a lot of us have considered. There's a couple of options. One's called Hey Rach, which is uh, using a, a virtual assistant. I think they're usually from the Philippines via an iPad. And then there's another way of doing it where you actually have a scribe in there with you. It's just a way to reduce some of the overwhelm of doing all the notes. Um, as Andrew talked about, it takes a, a long time to train a good scribe, and, and they kind of almost uh, write in your voice, and that's the key. So you can you can trust them in the beginning. You, you review them with them. You give them guidance, and uh, they're able to actually produce a much better note, and you're able to just focus on what you're really good at is, is doing the patient care. Uh, and that, the next interview was uh, with the Tobro, and he had that, that program uh, for a while, uh, uh, called the Tobro. And so I interviewed him and he's got a very simple operation of how he does his videos. Uh, pretty, pretty simple process, but he's got a couple of unique things I like on his website where he sells products. I think it's through Shopify. And, uh, so he found products and then people are always buying them. There's this little cool little ticker that pops up there when someone buys something. So something to consider in your practice, if you want to sell things, there's some easy ways you can look at his website. He's got his podiatrist website, and then you also see his uh, Tobro website and his YouTube channel. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then finally, I interviewed a local podiatrist, uh, Teresa Bertoft. She's here in Massachusetts, and I've really respected her uh, work with practice management. She's, she always has some great ideas, and really she just talks about the consistent things that work in practice. And so I, I would like to offer, if anyone that is listening to this, if you would like to be a guest, uh, please email me, uh, don at podiatrypracticemastery.com. Uh, and I'd love to have you on the show. We can just share your, your best tips, or we can even kind of do an issue processing, kind of what you're working on, what, you, what your goals are for the future, and how how give you some ideas uh, together on how, how to work on those things. So that's always a, a fun thing. We could record that into a little podcast. If anyone's interested, please email me. Uh, also, because you know, you're listening to this, you're probably on the podcast, uh, but there is a podcast. You can go to Podiatry Practice Mastery on iTunes or Google or any of these other other methods of listening. Um, I want to let everyone know I, I kind of stopped or scrapped that um, group session idea. It was it was fun. We did it for a few months, but I, I really didn't get the the people. Uh, and I think it was because it was like twelve thirty Eastern Standard Time. So I'm trying to figure out a, a different way of still providing content. We, we're putting all this content on the uh, the 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 blog or the Podiatry Practice Mastery. I think that's going to be the best option. There's going to be a link there for uh, interviews. There's going to be a link for like courses or information, and then uh, some recommendations. I think the key really is the recommendations. There's just so many things that we're just not aware of. So on there, I'm going to put a lot of uh, recommendations for email, recommendations for being efficient, recommendations for books, uh, a lot of these resources that you can just have them all in one place. And as you have time, you can go and kind of go through them. The courses are going to be kind of um, topic specific, uh, because I find it's overwhelming with all these podcasts or interviews. They're on like this topic, then this topic, then this topic. So what I'm going to try to do with the courses in, is combine it. Let's say, you know, all the content just on Shockwave or all the content uh, just on like in-office dispensing and then kind of referring to other, other sources for that. Okay. Uh, once again, uh, hope you guys have a great day and uh, we'll talk to you soon.